Hello and welcome. <coughs> this video is about the spirituality, specifically the chakras of the modern era. I know people might have problems feeling secure related to the root chakra or with respect related to the third, but for now let's talk about somewhat higher up. In my understanding, the 88 and 89 chakras are about World War I and World War II. How does this work? Let's not forget there is evil in this world, and as the Bible says, this world is influenced by Satan. It is also influenced by everything holy, and chakras are part of the Holy Spirit. So first of all, how does one work with the Holy Spirit? It is also known as Kundalini in Eastern culture and has been for thousands of years. The Holy Spirit or Kundalini wants you to surrender. This is the way in which it moves you through life. For surrender, what is needed is the loss of self, or to give up your wants. Simply stop wanting. The area below the navel, what you feel when you really want something, that area has to become still. This is known as desirelessness. So give up desire and practice surrender. It will not always be easy, but it will bring about a peace and joy that feels divine. So then, the chakras that are currently, let's say, entering global awareness are the 90th and up. Note, I count the chakras from the root up. The 90th chakra is about solar power and electricity. The 91st is about artificial intelligence. The 92nd is about energy to nuclear fusion. The 93rd about exploring the solar system. In the 94th, however, is about harvesting energy through gravity. People tend to want to control things. This is an opposition to surrender itself. Controlling a chakra as in turning it downwards. So like this. And not relying upon insight or inspiration from the Holy Spirit will result in the chakra closing, the energy disappearing and in general losing sense of it. Compare this with chess. Chess requires the seventh chakra for its overview of the board, the sixth chakra for wisdom and intuition, but also the chakra of calculus and artificial intelligence, so the 91st chakra. So it's no wonder that artificial intelligence can beat us at chess. The related color of this chakra is copper. Copper is also what powers artificial intelligence. I just want you to understand that there are various ways to interact with these chakras. We should not seek control. Instead, we should surrender these, or practice manipulating its form, or realizing it fully, then let ourselves be inspired by it. Let's take an example of the 94th chakra. <coughs> My initial idea was that it concerns gravity. Now, gravity affects a lot of things. Actually, every atom or molecule has an effect on a different atom or molecule through its mass. But think of the sea and the moon. The tides are caused by the gravity of the moon upon water. Why don't we harvest this energy much? Now, my first initial idea of this chakra related to uh, electrifying water. Then, since the molecules are electrified, to test if the input of electricity onto the water is less, the same or more than the output of electricity, given how the moon and gravity must have some effect on even water molecules or a mass of electrified water. And one should probably test this for a full 24 hours or four weeks, given how the moon revolves around our planet. A more practical idea relating to this chakra is this. We all know the seas and oceans and even rivers have waves, that there is energy contained within them, be it caused by wind or other factors. Imagine now a buoy, buoy which is attached to a spring. This spring is attached to an anchor. The buoy will move up and down with the surface of the water. The spring though will become loaded and unloaded with energy. The question is, how do we harvest the energy freely given to the spring, through the waves, the tides and such? One can extend this idea to many such buoys, but why not implement it on a larger scale with ships, those being anchored on a spring and harvesting this energy? 
the ship could go where the tides are rising. Anyway, these are just ideas inspired by this 94th chakra. There must be lots of other ways. Please watch my previous video on divine inspiration to inspire and be inspired to understand how to gain insight in the, into this chakra related ideas. The same could be done for nuclear fusion and also solar system exploration. Oh, and here's a chest tip. If one is aware of the copper chakra, try turning it upward facing to the right. This will give insight into nice chess moves. It will allow you to beat opponents above one's normal level, but it will not always let you win though. Thank you for watching.